hello everyone uh, let's learn about how to call the child component in the parent component using angular 17 let's see the example how to achieve this uh, see here i have already created our uh, angular 17 project so you can see the version It's taking some time, should please take a pessimist. See, uh, here is the CLI version 17.1, node 18.15, package manager npm 9.5, OS is 64 bit. Uh, you can see these are the packages that are already installed in once we install the angular 17 version uh, in the angular 70 these are the uh, component that already installed in MSN CLI common compiler core form platform browser platform browser dynamic platforms of router and SSR these are the already default installed default at the time of install angular 17 now uh, come to how to call a child component in the parent component let's create a component you can see here i have already created the user uh, component user list and user detail now you can uh, call create a ngg component name is the user info user info press on the enter it's taking few moment please take patience see uh, here is the uh, user info component created I uh, see uh, he, here is the user in, component user info component that I created here uh, suppose this is the child component child component name is 2 child component 2 now uh, call this child component in the user list now I am going to use uh, here is the you can see here the component standalone component that already created now I am going to call the user info component user info component user info component see here uh, the component inherited uh, at the time of import save this one uh see uh in the user list uh, i have a user list box child component one i have written child component one and the user info is the child component two now i am uh, going to call the component one and two in the app component so uh come to the ng so open it's taking a few moments this time lessons now the application building is started Uh, see here the port 4200 open automatically here uh, here is angular 17 child component this is the cell the level and i have uh, already created a checkbox on the app, app component 
and this is the placeholder I have already written. So let's see what uh, this is the app component app component HTML. See here is the uh, the div I have already created. This is the checkbox that you can see on the content. Here is the added, uh, change event on this checkbox. This is the level that I have mentioned above. This is the defer. I am using here the defer when the checkbox is equal to true. Then in that case uh, we will call the user list component here. Once we call the user list component I also call in the user list component uh, within the user list uh, to the user info. Uh, let's uh, see. I will click on the save. The, I, I hope you already uh, know about the default loading. How to use default loading and why we use the default loading. Default loading basically used to load the uh, content. Uh, for the specific event so here is the placeholder these are the basically syntax we are using placeholder basically uh, run when uh, the dome is fully ready after that once any error the, this section will load it up once uh, will perform any uh, action on the checkbox first will load the loading section for the few uh, second where I am mentioned two second the loading after two seconds the component user list will be rendered once uh, render the user list the in the user list uh, let's see the UI here is the checkbox once uh, here is the placeholder the uh, render on the default at the time of the uh, browser don't load once I click on the checkbox see here the loading option loading after few uh, two seconds the component one is called component one in the user list is called in the app component now i'm going to uh, call the component two in the component one let's see uh, component one is the user list and the component two is the user info now i'm going to call uh, the app user info component here after that see see the result of this i am going to click on this loading option after a few second two second the component one and two are called in the app component so this is the basically uh, the child component called in the parent component uh, the calling uh, let's see here is the selector so uh, i have uh, I have uh, used this to call the child component in the parent component that is called the app component now uh, we can we can change the selector see uh, we can change the selector now I'm going to uh, use this class selector if we uh, if you want to use the class selector then you can use class selector if you want to use the id selector then you can use the id selector let's see how to use the class selector see uh, here is i will write a div and class name of the class is app dot user the selector Okay, I am going to save this one and build this application. Now come to the here. Once I click here, <coughs> the com sorry, something wrong here. Once I click here, loading options. Oh, plus user list. Sorry, not save here. I will click on the save button. Sorry for this mistake. Now I will click here loading options. After uh, two seconds, the component on to our call. I, uh, this is the class selector. If you want to use the ID selector, then you can use this 
and save this one come to the div put the id name of this press on the save action now code is loading click on this one what's happen here id 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 Why is not calling ID selector app dot user list user uh, see here uh, the we also need to call the child view child import the view child component here I have already mentioned here so ID selector ID okay uh, let's see the div ID for this and as this one I think I'm missing something here for the ID selector. So sorry for that. So I'm missing something here. So uh, sorry for that. Please, uh, we'll explain later how to call the with the ID selector. Now come to the selector. I'm reward uh, this one to use this one. Now uh, the component one into account. I hope uh, you got how to call the child component in the parent component using Angular 17. Uh, thanks for watching the video uh, please like and subscribe my video uh, this this will help us to encourage to prepare the more video like this and also if you have any query please uh, add the comment and I will uh, try to reply as soon as earlier thanks thank you thanks for the watching